Second kind of ciliated epithelial is called columnar ciliated epithelium. Here, the cilia are arranged at the free end of columnar cells, which are usually fine, which are usually found in internal tissue. Here, these elongated cells contain cilia. Again, these cilia are helpful in the movement of various products. This one is usually found in fallopian tube of OV duct. And here cilia ha are helpful in the movement of ovum throughout the duct. Now some special modification of epithelial, epithelial tissue are also found which are the first and main functional modification of epithelial tissue is called pseudostratified epithelium. Again, if you will break the word, you will get three words here. Pseudo means false, stratified means made up of multiple layer and epithelial means protective covering. So, it is a protective covering which is multi-layered in nature but sometime in between the cells, some elongated cells are found which are modified to secrete specific substance and because of it, somewhere the layer is fragmented in unicellular structure. So it's usually multicellular but some while some elongated cells are also present which are specific in their secretion. That's why the interrupted multi-layered structure is called pseudostratified epithelium. Just like that, here some specific cells are found which contain some secretory substance like multicellular stratified epithelium which is found in respiratory tract that also contains some mucus cells. So these are just mucus or goblet cells. These are the goblet cells that can secrete mucus while here rest of the cells which are cuboidal or flattened in their nature these are forming multi-layered structure. So these are forming stratified epithelium. This kind of epithelium layer is called pseudo stratified epithelium because your multi layered and multicellular structure is present along with some unicellular elongated specified secretory tissue. This one is found in respiratory tract. Especially in trachea and bronchi. The second modification is, modification is called brush bordered epithelium. Where the free end of columnar as well as of cuboidal epithelium contains some finger like projection. Just like that. These are columnar epithelium that contains some finger like projection at the free end. That's why this, uh, this structure appears like brush. That's why this one is called brush bordered epithelium. Usually these finger like projections are called villi. And this one is found in elementary canal in intestine. which is the most elongated part of elementary canal. 
and these are helpful in the increasing of area here in, in intestine will are helpful in the formation or increase in the absorption surface area same here this breast border epithelium can be pseudo stratified because if some elongated and glandular structure is present then this one is called pseudo stratified breast border epithelium this is over about epithelial tissue epithelial tissue can be classified in squamous epithelial tissue where flattened cells are found while the second if these are arranged in a single layer then this one is called simple squamous epithelium and if they are arranged and form multi layered structure then it's called stratified epithelium the second type of epithelial tissue is called columnar epithelium where elongated column like cells or pillar like cells are arranged at basement membrane and forms more protective covering than the first one this one is found in internal organ basically in reproductive structure testis and ovary third type of epithelial tissue is called cuboidal epithelial tissue where cubic cells are arranged at basement membrane these appear hexagonal in their frontal view they may be single layered or multi layered this one is usually found in secretory kind of tissue because these are the cubic cells are rich in golgi body the next type of epithelial tissue is ciliated epithelial tissue where cilia are found at the free end of cells if these are found at cuboidal cell then it's called ciliated cuboidal epithelium and this one is found in respiratory tract where the cilia are helpful in the filtration of air the second kind of ciliated epithelial is columnar ciliated epithelia here the cilia are arranged at the column like structures at the free end of column like structures and these are usually found in fallopian tube in ov duct the special modification of epithelial tissue are pseudo stratified epithelium it's a multi layered structure but some interruptions are present which are formed by unicellular structure like goblet cells are arranged in the pseudo stratified epithelium in respiratory tract here goblet cell secrete mucus which are helpful in the protection because whenever bacteria and other kind like dust particle are coming or going to enter inside our respiratory tract these are embedded in mucus the next one kind of specified epithelium is called brush bordered epithelium these are helpful in the increasing of absorption area in intestine like the finger like structures are formed which are called villi which are helpful in the absorb increasing absorption area this is over about epithelial tissue thank you